Welcome back, everybody. Um, this is part four of painting my gnome, I think. I'm not completely sure. Um, I'm going to do his hat. I'm going to try to finish up that today on this video. Um, and I'm going to be doing something called dry dusting. I recently learned what it was while I took a ceramic class. And basically, what you're going to be doing, if you want to try this at home, oh, use something to put your paint in, like a little paint palette. Pick your paint. I'm going to be using this glittery gold painting. It's called Gold Rush. Pull that off of there. And hopefully this works the way I want to, because if it doesn't, I'm going to be kind of upset. I'm going to combine the Gold Rush and the gold and see happens that way we have more of a golden color but it still gets the glitter that comes with the gold rush paint so find your paintbrush I like this one make sure the bristles are soft I don't really think it matters what shape your paintbrush is but it might but I say just be creative do it however you want and what you do is you get your paint on your paintbrush, then you have a paper towel, and you kind of just dust it off. So you just have a little bit left, and then you go over and just gently do it on. This really works well, like I'll be doing on his nose later, using pink paint um, to add like a blush effect from it. And it's just kind of like, it's kind of like putting on makeup kind of. For those of you who know what it's like, if you're a man watching this, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. But like, whenever you put on eyeshadow or blush or stuff like that, how you brush off your brushes a little bit to get off the extra stuff, it's kind of like that. So you just get a fine dusting of it, but it won't overpower the rest of the paint that you have on whatever you're painting. So, I know that y'all probably can't see this very well, but... It's getting like this golden sheen to it now. I really like it. So I'm excited to see how this is going to turn out. And I've said this before, but I'm not great at painting. So if I finish this and my gnome just looks awful, then, you know, I tried my best. I'm trying to make him look nice and seasonable. He's got a very fall theme going on. So probably put him in my yard for now until maybe January and I'm sit out there and just give off some very good fall themes. I love fall color schemes. They're so pretty with the gold and the reds and the brown. It's just a very rich color scheme and I just love it. I like to think of painting as kind of like a type of meditating, especially if you have soft music going in the background, which is very calming and nice. Oh, I didn't brush off enough paint on that one. Brush off some more paint. It's kind of thick right there. I'm just going to go all the way around his hat with it so it has this thin gold sheen. Got some glitter on there. Makes him look a little festive. And it complements the rust gold color really well. I like it. I hope everyone is having a good week this week. Mm. Hoping the temperatures are going to stay down and be nice because I am honestly very, very tired of this hot weather. It's not very nice anymore. But you know how Georgia is. It's always hot and muggy and, well, we Georgians know how to sweat. I will say that because we are very used to it. This turned out... I mean, it's not done yet, but I really like the way it looks. 
I'm going to take another brush that doesn't have any paint on it and go over this and just get off like the thick parts so it's like a thin gold color it's not overpowering anything I think I'm getting glitter in my eye that's not healthy <laughs> oh, yep. I really like that I know that y'all probably can't see it very well but it's got a shiny sheen on him. Thankfully, my beard's dry because I just put my entire hand on it. I really like that. Okay, so how do I want? I don't know how I want to do the beard. What about putting some gold streaks in his beard? Some rusty streaks would be good too because I know a lot of men who have like dark hair and their beard will go in and they'll have like red streaks in it it's the strangest thing but it's so cool looking so i'm going to be using kind of the same dusting technique where i don't have a lot of paint on my paintbrush just enough to get those colors in there and get little streaks on them make him look like a sophisticated gnome And again, like I said last week, if y'all attempt any of this thing on any of the stuff that um, I'm doing, if you paint anything, I would love to see it. I'm sure it looks beautiful, probably better than mine, because I know I am not great at painting, but I just enjoy it a lot. So yeah, if y'all have anything, any crafts, anything like that that y'all have done while you've been away from the Senior Center, I would love to see them, and I know Preston would too. We'll just rave and compliment it and show everybody around us how great it looks. Okay. So he's got some red streaks in his beard now. I think we'll do a few little gold streaks maybe. Kind of like I did on my hat. So it looks kind of like, I don't know, like he's been in the sun and his hair has been bleached by the sun. I think that would be a good look for him. And the longer I paint this, the more I like it's turning out. I didn't think I would like it all this much, but I really do. I think he looks pretty good. But I will say this, I need to wash all these paintbrushes because I'm running out of paintbrushes to use. Um, but yeah, he looks pretty good. I think I'll go ahead and paint the trim around his hat. I think that would be good if I just went for a pure gold color. Let's see if I can fold my paper towel and get it to stay down. This one should be pretty good. Take some gold and do this hat. And his nose is so many different colors right now. Ooh, he's got brown on his nose. He's got gold now. He's got red on his nose. But the good news is, is I'm going to paint over that. So no one will ever know that it was a million different colors. I will say that the best thing to do while painting is probably cleaning as you go, which I am not doing at this moment. I'm kind of just making a big mess and then taking care of it when I get done. I'd say it'd probably be easier to clean as you go because there won't be as much of a mess to clean up in the end and it'll be a lot easier to get the paint stuff out of your paint brushes. Right now I have, well now I have paint all over the table, but we won't tell Preston so it's okay. We'll just keep it a little secret. But I'm getting paint all over my table and I have like six paintbrushes over here that have random paint in it from painting. 
Oh. No. Oh. Paintbrush is not thin like I want it to be, but that is okay. We will work with it and make it work anyways. And I'm just gonna go around the back part of this now. Trying to rub them on all the paper towels over here, but it's not working too well. Oh, and whenever, if you do want to paint something ceramic like this, I highly recommend um, getting some spray paint clear sealant. Um, we have some in here. It's just clear acrylic sealer and spraying that on something like this, especially if you paint something ceramic and you want it to sit outside. That way the paint will be preserved and it'll give it a nice sheen. And the paint won't, or the colors won't dull as quickly over time. It will last a good bit longer. So I highly recommend that if you're going to paint anything like this. Make sure to protect your colors. Mr. Gnome here is going to need a good couple of layers on his little, I don't know what you call that fold of his hat, maybe, that's what it is, I guess, because this gold is a very, very thin color, it does not cover other colors very well. Oh, these paper towels, I swear. I'm going to sit over there. So, yep. Yeah. So now we've got this nice, pretty dusting on his hat. We've got a lot of different colors going on in his beard. I love it. Um, I can't wait to finish the rest of them. I can't wait to see how he's going to turn out. I'm hoping he looks pretty dapper, but we shall see. All right, well, pin in for the next part of this. Hopefully I'll get him finished in the next part or so, and he'll be nice and Happy looking. So tune in if you want to see the final result of the gnome and continue watching me try to paint him good, even though I have no idea what I'm doing. So thank you for watching.